Hi, I'm Todd Baker, Regional Technical Director of Future Electronics. Today I'd like to show you the benefits of using a real-time operating system with a microcontroller in an embedded application. First, let's explain what constitutes a real-time operating system, or an RTOS. An RTOS is an operating system which is optimized in order to be used in embedded and real-time applications. A main advantage of an RTOS is that it ensures a timely and deterministic response to internal events or to external events. In order to understand an RTOS, we should also define what a real-time kernel is. A real-time kernel is the software which handles time and resource management for a microprocessor, microcontroller, or digital signal processor. An RTOS is different from a real-time kernel because often it contains a combination of real-time kernel as well as other components like a graphical user interface, file management services, protocol stacks, among other different types of services. In RTOS, similar to a computer's operating system, manages computer hardware resources and hosts the computer's applications. Where an RTOS differs from a conventional OS is in its high degree of reliability and the ability to run applications with timing that is much more precise. Using an RTOS becomes interesting when used in situations where a delay could be unsafe or in automation situations where downtime could be costly to production. When programmed correctly, an RTOS will allow a program to run with very consistent timing by allowing programmers and developers control over the prioritization of tasks. Another benefit of using an RTOS is that it allows a software application to be written as a set of independent tasks, with each task having its own priority level. The RTOS makes sure that the task which is the highest level of priority and has the ability to run is actually the task that is running. Micrium offers the users a full suite of RTOS services and components that designers and developers can use, including the Micro CFS, which is an embedded file system, Micro C TCP IP, which is a TCP IP stack, Micro C GUI, a graphical user interface, Micro C USB, a USB device and host stack, and many more. Due to the modularity of Micrium, users can choose only the components that are required for their application. As more designs are migrating to 32-bit microcontrollers and applications that are being developed grow more in complexity, using an RTOS can become beneficial for the following reasons. They abstract out timing information due to the real-time scheduler that allows users to easily specify the timing characteristics of their application. They have clean inter-task communication interfaces. They make life easier for testing. Code reusability across different projects due to the greater modularity and less module interdependencies. They also have improved efficiency of CPU resources, flexibility in interrupt handling, and easier control over the peripherals of the microcontroller or microprocessor. Micrium's RTOS uses the Micro C OS 3, which is a scalable preemptive real-time kernel that can manage an unlimited amount of tasks. The Micro C OS 3 is a third generation kernel that offers resource management, synchronization, and inter-task communication. A big advantage of the Micro C OS 3 is that it also offers several unique features that are not available in other real-time kernels. Micrium's Micro C OS 3 has several great features, including intuitive API, or the application programming interface, preemptive multitasking, round-robin scheduling of tasks at equal priority. Micrium's Micro C OS 3 can be used with the most popular microcontrollers on the market. In comprehensive and detailed books, that delve into the operation of real-time kernels are offered from Micrium with practical and working applications with hands-on working projects to allow programmers and developers to get their applications running quickly. Real-time operating systems can be used in many applications. A good example is in the deployment of airbags during a traffic accident. In this case, a small timing error, whether the airbag is deployed too late or even too early, can cause serious and irreversible bodily injury. An RTOS is extremely useful here as it will ensure that all timing requirements are met. In general, real-time operating systems are designed for event response applications or closed loop control applications. Event response applications need a response to an input in a given amount of time. A good example of that is an event response application in which an automated visual inspection of parts on a factory assembly line must be completed where each part must be photographed and analyzed before the assembly line can continue moving. In this case, if a conventional OS is used rather than an RTOS, the part may not be inspected in time and delay the entire assembly line, or the end user may even receive a defective part. 
A closed loop control system, on the other hand, processes feedback data continuously in order to adjust its outputs. In closed loop control systems, each output value at a specific time will depend on the input data received at that time. A great example would be the cruise control system on a car, where an RTOS can ensure that the inputs are processed in time for the correct outputs to be generated. Applications that run for long periods of time can also benefit from an RTOS due to its reliability in situations where downtime is considered unacceptable or costly. For more information about RTOS and Micrium, please visit our website at futureelectronics.com slash Micrium.